Hello everybody, Adam at Develop PHP here and I have a special treat for all of the members and subscribers. Uh, what it is is an XML based compact flash photo gallery that renders the image, brings the images in using an XML file and it renders them in uh, horizontal, horizontally sectioned off lines. So it's one loop that brings all of this in it's uh but if it reaches 5 it knows to break line and reposition the next row of images uh a certain pixel amount below the the previous line and this line does the same thing when it reaches this picture number to be loaded in in the loop we make it reposition this next whole line of images and then this one the same thing and you guys will see pretty hardcore dynamics in this one so I recommend only advanced users download this free package and you'll get the source file for the flash source file the XML file uh, and everything you need a full working application and I just made a title for it up here so if you guys wanted space to put uh, the title of this particular gallery um, so yeah it's an XML based uh, loop based compact flash photo gallery when you click on a picture I made it magically bring in and just cover the whole gallery with that image and the uh, there's a sound effect which you can't hear it but there's a sound effect a slide effect sound effect when the picture comes down and there are <clears throat> titles for each image and a close button but you don't necessarily have to click the close button or your users don't they can just click the picture and it goes away again but I just put the button there for uh, visual reference works really cool it's quick super quick I don't think I've ever seen a flash gallery load faster than this bad boy Okay, now let's take a look at the source file and I'll I'll guide you through a little bit of how the source file is structured. But really downloading the source file and getting to the code will be your best bet. Okay? I just want to showcase this application in this video to get people interested in learning these type of dynamics. Now there's not much code to this and that's the beauty of it. And uh but the code methods are advanced so that's why I recommend only advanced users go for this and you know if you're a beginner you can you can use it all you, all you like uh, it's ready to go it's a full working application and so you can manipulate all the pictures in it and all that good stuff but you might not be able to expand upon it a beginner would be it'd be so easy for you to manipulate the XML file let's see where is it let me show you that gallery config .xml. let's open that with Dreamweaver let's take a look at it and you can see there's all 20 pictures there's a menu item for each of the 20 pictures and they have a picture number they're numbered they have a, a uh, reference for where the file is on the server right there that thumb tag the picture tag is uh, why am I sending that in twice oh there's the large picture sorry here's the thumbnail here's the large picture reference and here's the name for that image it's so easy to manipulate and all you have to do is change the images in this folder there's all the the large ones and here's all the thumbnails it's so simple but if you want to be able to manipulate this file I suggest you or I recommend you uh, be an advanced user because I can't answer any questions about things I wish I could give support for all of the the lessons we produce uh, to everyone that requests it but since so many people have different understanding levels it would be uh, a non-stop thing which it's not possible for me to do okay so I put great insight into the file though everything has all the layers are named intuitively 
and everything's separated real nice and you, if you guys know me you, you know that I like nesting everything into a movie clip on the main timeline so that's what I've done and there's a uh, the animated screen is on the main timeline here you can see it here it comes down if we go into that you can see my animation for it see how it goes down and right there is when the picture comes in when it hits this frame and then here's the slide back up and the sound effects are right there on the timeline it's very simple to do okay so let's go back into the main scene and let's click on the let's go ahead and lock those back Let's click on the movie clip that is the whole gallery and this is where the code is now inside the gallery you'll have four layers and the top one is where all the action script is and the other layers are the skin graphics the title and title background and the over clip for the over effects that was that little uh, laminated looking thing that was the thumbnail rollover effect okay and that's just a movie clip and um do, 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 do. let's see let's just take a look at the code i'm not going to take too much time explaining this code because i took a lot of time commenting the code out for you so you can just look at the code comments here that i have every section has code comment you can plainly see above the code so that's where you get the understanding okay no reason for me to just repeat what I've already written above the code segments and you'll see it's all loop based it brings in that XML file right here then we run a loop on that XML data and in the loop all the images are displayed onto the stage for the user to click on the thumbnails and bring in the large pick and all that and here inside the loop is those conditions I was talking about to line the pictures up horizontally uh, in the Y axis or a Y position that they should be so we have a nice compact set of thumbnails all laid right next to each other and this thing is not very big at all you can fit uh, this on a web page real easy along with a lot of other text and other items so that's pretty much it and if you guys uh, like I said you have to be an advanced user to, to manipulate this file but to use it for your website you don't have to be an advanced user you saw the uh, XML file is very simple all you'd have to do is change the images in this folder pretty much all you'd have to do is replace the images in this folder keep the same names and that was that'd be it it would all work exactly the same and then you go into the flash source file maybe change the title here and everything and you're good to go so on the main scene you'll see there's certain items you'll see what's there it's very intuitively named all the 